Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I was going to go ahead and build this quad or this whole build right here, this whole setup. But before it, I wanted to talk about the ESCs here because I have been testing them whenever I get chance to test them um, in the house here. Now, uh, I didn't want to add this into the build video because it'll just be extra long and I really don't want to do that. So that's why I'm making a quick separate video right before the build video. So these ESCs, now for the past couple of days when I come home or, or just whenever I get like 15 to 30 minutes, I actually rip motors off my quads and I go ahead and I install them and I just bash the living hell out of these ESCs to get it to take or actually burn because I have a couple scripts that I could burn ESCs with. Uh, for example, I've burned a DYS XS DV2 because I only purchased one of those so I was just beating the crap out of it and that's pretty much a premium ESC. I've also burned the new Emacs uh, bullets, I think. But, you know, that doesn't mean they're shit. That just means what I'm doing is just will never happen on a quad. Um, it's just a very nasty torture test, which I really don't do unless I see the need to do. And um, I've been doing that with these guys. Actually, one, as you can see, all of them are still brand new. I haven't even used those. So I've been just bashing the living hell out of this whole setup right here. And it's just insanely beautiful. I mean, I, I just, I'm stunned and I'm amazed. And this is why I quickly set this whole build up that we're going to be building next on the channel. Now, the motors I'm going to be using also are the Sunny Sky 2308. They are humongous. Now, I didn't know if I was going to use these or not, but I made a quick, you know, YouTube search to see people's flight footage. And I saw a lot of OSD flickering which means these are probably some noisy ass motors, which is beautiful, which is exactly what we want. And it's going to be good for us. However, after we do this test and it tests absolutely beautiful, what I will also be doing, since this is a 32 K gyro, I will be setting the PID and gyro loop up to 32 kilohertz. Since the new beta flight update, you know, there's more options. We can set them up, fix it up and actually try to run 32 kilohertz on some noisy motors running these ESCs with the 32K gyro, that'll be the ultimate test for this setup because it's a pretty expensive setup. So this should in theory perform absolutely beautiful because it's premium components. So that is my goal and that is my plan. After testing with these motors, I will quickly switch over to some Emacs 2306 2750KV because those are what I call ESC burning motors. From personal experience, these are the motors that I am able to burn ESCs with on my setups. So that will be upcoming also. But right now, I just really wanted to update you guys that I these these perform so good. It's just insane. I've also pulled the DYS Aria ESC, which is the number one ESC till this day until I take this out for the real world test. Now, in bench testing, this surpasses the DYS Aria in a couple reasons. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that if you increase your PWM frequency in BL Heli 32, you will get a beautiful, smooth motor and less noise. Now, what I've done is I left this on the default 16 kilohertz and I've maxed it out on the DYS Aria and this is performing still better. It's just, that's insane right there. Another thing, you can even hear it in the motor. It just, I've been running it all day next to my head, so I, I could hear the difference all day, every day. So I, when I, I, I could hear if a motor is running smoother or not, because I've been running motors for almost a year now, next to my ear here. So these are just insane. I just want to make a quick update video, and I really wanted to hear some of your feedbacks who's used it. Please let me know down in the comment section. I'm very curious. I will be building this. I'm going to try to, I, I want to fly it tomorrow if it doesn't snow, but um, I, I don't know what's going to happen. But this build is going to be upcoming on the channel and I wanted to make this video separate so it doesn't make the build video much longer because the testing was just ridiculously crazy. Um, I still can't believe I've been doing this for the past four days. Um, usually sometimes I get an hour a day where I just, you know, do as much as I can in there and it just performs just insanely good. And I do apologize. I didn't record any of it. I really didn't have time. I just wanted to test them and not just do a whole setup with the microphone, the camera, the lighting. I just wanted to test it for myself and see. And I just want, you know, this is just an update video. That's all it is. Nothing more. Uh, it's not a review. And yeah, well, wait for the upcoming build and we'll see how it goes. And the flight footage will be very soon. I promise you, I'm not going to make you wait for that. And that's going to include it for this video, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. 
And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.